Welcome, 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 welcome to Island Girl Gardening and Up. I'm your man up. Today we're gonna be planting some carrots. And we're gonna do a little experiment. We're in zone 8A Hathaway, Virginia, and the farmer what the uh farmer's act almanac says it's time to plant the carrots now. So we're gonna try a little experiment. We're gonna plant one carrot, we're gonna leave it outside, and the second one we're gonna put inside of the greenhouse. See which one does the better, which one comes up first. So we're gonna do a little experiment. Plus, we have a little thing called a seed separator. You're supposed to be able to take the real small seeds and separate them like one at put them in one at a time. So we're gonna try that out today too and see if that really works. So here we go. So we here we go. These are the two pots that we're gonna use. This pot here and that pot over there. This one we're gonna put in the greenhouse because it's lighter easy to pick up. This one we can lay right here outside. So, we got some carrots. The one we're using first is uh, this one right here. We can put some of this right here. These carrots. Cosmo Perf Purple. So we got our little seed separator right here. And we gonna, we got, already got our seeds in there, so we gonna so I'll see if you can let this thing actually get you one seed at a time. Okay, so they're falling out a little more than one at a time, but at least they're not as close as they would if you would do it by hand. So I'm saying it, they're falling out pretty fast. So let's go down to a one and see if the one works for that. So you gotta shake it a little bit on the one, a little bit more. So they are they are separating a little bit more than it would if you do it by hand. So you don't have to worry about a whole lot of separating them once they start to germinate. So that's that one. I'm gonna put it back on two. I like it a little bit better. And this one, we're going to do the same thing. The seed separator. The seeds in there. It works to a certain extent. We're not jamming all of them on top of each other. But. You gotta beat it a little bit. You wanna put it in the big hole. So now it won't come out. So now we go back to the two. Then we're gonna go to the three. We need that many more in there. So there we go. We got the seeds out. So now we're gonna uh, put a little layer of soil on top of them. light layer the soil is real light and fluffy so the carrots will have no problem growing nice and big the soil is the soil is real light and fluffy Real light and fluffy soil. As you can see in the picture, that's a little little Mac right there. Okay, you're trying to help me, I guess. Yeah, right, Mac. Little Mac, Mac. Oh, Mac, Mac, I'm trying to help. Got a couple of twigs in there. Let me get them out. Now, this one's gonna stay here. Well, we're going in the greenhouse. Take this one over to the greenhouse. It's kind of heavy. I think they might can manage it. They might can manage it. They might can manage it with one hand. Over here to the greenhouse. Get her locked in. 
see which one does the best. Okay, so we get over here in the greenhouse with it. Okay. So we got it in the greenhouse. As you can see, right here. So we got it in the greenhouse right there. Sitting in the greenhouse. And look at my uh my cuttings. I did a cutting in Fruit Meyer. Not a cutting, I did a draft. Graph. I grafted this Meyer lemon onto this um flying dragon rootstock. Improved Meyer lemon. As you can see right there, the little draft and this little grab thing, and it came out pretty good. And then another one, same thing. So, I'm getting, getting kind of kind of good at uh, grafting. So, that's about it for now. Like and subscribe if you like the channel. Leave the thumbs up. The Island Girl got in and up. So until next time, plant something.